Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. In today's video, I wanted to go through diet and MS and how diet can help to reduce the symptoms of MS and in a lot of people's opinion, completely halt the disease process itself. As always, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment below and also subscribe to the channel for more informative videos about my MS journey. I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around Who's that In fact, some of the evidence that's out there and some of the work that's been done, I couldn't believe it when I was actually reading it and I was thinking, how is this so effective and yet no neurologists tell you to go on a specific diet, no doctor tells you anything along those lines. Like it seems like a hidden mystery and a secret really to like help you heal and help you stop this disease from progressing. Because all the doctors and neurologists just want to talk about drugs and therapies like that. Um, so I couldn't really believe what I was reading when I read on a lot of these diets. And there's quite a few different diets that claim to have benefits with MS. It's kind of d developed over time. Um, there's one, there's the Swank diet is one, which was like, is like a high carbohydrate diet, mainly plant-based. Um, that was developed back in sort of the 60s, I think. Um, and that was proved very successful for quite a lot of people. Um, and then there's been numerous different diets ever since that stage. So there's been low fat diets, there's been high fat diets, there's been no gluten, no dairy, all these different things and all have had some levels of success. Then in the 1990s, George Jelinek came up with the overcoming MS diet. And this one was the first to acknowledge really how big a, an important role that vitamin D has to play and also fish oil, so omega-3 fatty acids. Um, and that's something that now is pretty well known in the, in the MS space, that vitamin D plays a major role because they, you can literally look at the MS distribution of where people get MS across the globe and it tends to be the further away from the equator you are, the more likely you are to contract MS. Um, so it's pretty conclusive that vitamin D plays a vital role in supporting the immune system to stop it from going AWOL and attacking its own cells. And similarly with fish oils as well, so omega-3s, they seem to be pretty conclusive now that that plays a major role um, in the MS process. So that's two things straight away that I would, I would suggest straight away getting into your diet as much as possible. The recommendations for vitamin D can be anywhere between, a lot of people say 2,000 IU a day and some people say upwards of sort of 10,000 IU a day. So it's always best to consult your doctor first and try and work out what would be the best dosage for you. Um, but I'm currently taking around 8,000 IU a day um, because that's the diet that I mainly follow, which I'm about to talk about now. So that brings me to the, the best bet diet, which is the diet that I'm following. So after all my research, compiling, reading into all these different things, this was the one that to me seemed like the most well-rounded and seemed to cover all bases. It seemed to draw upon bits of each diet that all made sense to me and in my head. Um, so when I was just reading through all the research and the explanations of how the diet works, it was really mind-blowing for me and it gave me really a real strong sense of positivity that I could take control of this thing because up until then I felt pretty hopeless and just thought, well, it's just a gamble, let's see how it goes, let's see what, how, how disabled I become in the future and really bad way of thinking about it, but that was what was going through my head, whereas... When I learned about this diet and I read the science behind it and it all just made sense to me and it clicked and it thought, wow, this is something that I can do. I can make these changes right here, right now. And it should, from what I've learned, really slow down the disease process. So the diet was developed by Ashton Embry, who developed the diet because his son was diagnosed with MS when he was 19. So it was a massive shock to the family, obviously, and he was a geologist himself, I think. So he just buried his head in all the research. He went through all the different papers, all the different diets that were out there at the time, and compiled it all into one diet. That's one kind of overarching diet that draws from each different one. And so that was the, the, the motivation behind creating the diet. And his son has had MS since he was 19, like I say, and ever since he's been on the diet straight away, he's basically had no symptoms ever since. So he's 
pretty much been in remission ever since, which is an incredible story. And there's loads of other stories like that of people that have been on that diet. And the sooner you can get on it straight after your diagnosis, the stronger the effects as well. So I'm really hopeful and positive that because I'd got on the diet basically as soon as I'd decided in my own head that I had MS, that it's really going to positively affect me going forward. And hopefully I've stopped giving my body a reason to attack itself. And so it's going to stop those patterns that are are basically formed in my immune system. So the best bet diet then, it mainly combines, it removes all sorts of processed foods. So all processed foods go straight out the window. We all know they're bad for us. Then the next thing that needs to come out is refined sugars. So sugary drinks, including like diet drinks as well. You've got to get rid of all the sweeteners. And then any refined sugars really need to be cut out from the diet straight away. This is mainly for the negative impact it has on the gut flora and the gut microbiome, which there's more and more research coming out that supports the fact that a lot of autoimmune diseases, including MS, really comes from the gut and it doesn't come from the actual immune system. Well, it does come from the immune system, but via the gut, because something like 80% of the immune system is actually within the gut itself. And so it's actually issues within the the gut flora so the all the different bacteria that are living in your gut and it's the, these imbalances that causes firstly a leaky gut which causes substance to leak from your gut into your bloodstream which shouldn't be there and then once they're in the bloodstream your body then goes to attack these proteins and re and accidentally attacks your own bodily tissue so that is the theory of why bad gut microbiome can really massively negatively impact you in terms of MS. So the next thing that's advised to cut out on the best bet diet is dairy, so all kinds of dairy. This is because dairy contains similarly proteins that can damage the gut lining, so that can in induce leaky gut syndrome where these proteins leak through to the bloodstream. Um, and there's also proteins in the dairy that resembles the myelin which it's theorised is why the body ends up attacking the myelin sheath because it sees the dairy, the immune system sees this dairy protein, thinks, wow, this isn't supposed to be here, goes to attack it, so it creates antibodies targeting that. The dairy molecules closely resemble the myelin, which then makes the body attack the myelin. So that's the logic behind that cutting out dairy. So the next thing you have to cut out on this diet is gluten um, because gluten is highly inflammatory. Similarly to dairy as well, it can damage the lining of the gut wall. And so it induces this leaky gut syndrome, which is the root of all of this, essentially. All of this work that's done on diets and how they're detrimental towards MS, all points back to a leaky gut, really. And that's what a lot of people believe. And there's more and more evidence every day that is the actual, the initiator of disease processes like this, like autoimmune diseases. Or at least it gives the body a reason to trigger these responses that create the autoimmune issue. So gluten is definitely something that's cut out from the diet. Legumes are also on the list as well of things to cut out on the diet. And this is similar to all the others really where they've got proteins called lectins that essentially they're very good at leaking through the gut lining and getting into the body where they're not supposed to. So, and then your body mistakens these proteins, goes to attack them and ends up attacking its own cells. Um, so this is all sorts of things. So this is all kinds of beans, lentils. Um, you've also got things like peas, sugar snap peas, all of the legume family, peanuts as well. They've all got to be cut out on this diet because for that exact reason, the lectins inside there are really damaging for people with MS. From there then, you should also be looking to reduce alcohol consumption. Uh, you should also be looking to reduce non-gluten grains from the diet, along with things like sunflower oil, vegetable oil. All those things are quite damaging. You should try and replace all those kind of oils really with things like olive oil or coconut oil. They're the ones that are much more beneficial to your gut flora and your overall health with MS. So what should you be eating then on the diet? I, I can hear you asking, because it sounds like you're just taking out all this stuff and there's nothing left to eat. But it's not the case, I'm actually enjoying the diet myself. So it basically, it suggests you should obviously increase your fruit and vegetable consumption. So trying to get loads of leafy green vegetables, there's so much evidence that backs that. 
um, and then you'd want to get as much fish in your system as possible. So things like mackerel, salmon, tuna, all of those have loads of omega-3s and that's really beneficial to you as an MS sufferer. You can have meat on the diet as well, but it advises not going too crazy on saturated fats. So mainly trying to keep to sort of chicken breast, um, lean cuts of pork, things like that that you can introduce in with the diet as well. In terms of carbohydrates, sweet potatoes are great. That's your best option really for carbohydrates. Then you've got rice, obviously, which is good. Um, and then you've got potatoes as well you can introduce into your diet. Um, but they do contain some lectins as well. So I try and keep my diet to sweet potatoes and rice where possible. I do have gluten-free pasta, but I try and minimize that as well because that's mainly corn, which is not as bad as gluten, but it does advise you cut down on corn consumption as well. I think the key takeaways then from the diet is, and it's, it really is my belief, I've done a lot of research into it, and I definitely think that people should consider getting on this diet, and in particular, cutting out the dairy, cutting out the gluten, and removing all sorts of processed foods and artificial sweeteners and sugar as well. I think those are the main things that there's so much evidence that points towards those things being really damaging to our overall health and in inducing autoimmune diseases of all kinds. Basically negatively impacting your health for the future going forwards anyway. So yeah, I would definitely advise removing those and as mentioned earlier as well, you should definitely be straight away getting on a high strength vitamin D supplement, getting some fish oils in. There's also a bunch of supplements on the Best Pet Diet that I definitely recommend taking as well in conjunction with your diet to supplement your diet. So yeah, that's pretty much the diet that I'm on to help control MS going forward. Uh, obviously, I'm still very early. I'm only six months into being diagnosed, so it's hard to tell at this stage if the diet is working or not. Um, but I definitely feel for me that it will benefit me massively going forward because there is history in my family of no one else has had MS, but my sister is celiac, so that shows she's got gluten intolerance. And then my mum as well has got IBD. So there's definitely something going on there with the, the bowels and the intestines and, and what have you. So I definitely think that this diet is going to massively affect me going forward. Hopefully that is exactly the root cause and I've cut it out from here and I can live a really good life from here onwards. So I would definitely advise everyone watching to check out all the diets that I've mentioned. There's many more as well. Um, there's the Terry Walls diet, which is really high in leafy green vegetables. Bit too much for me, I don't think I could do that. Um, but it's worth it to some people that have seen massive um, effects of these diets. So yeah, definitely do some further research, but I'd massively recommend doing something in this regard because I think it's going to come out in sort of 10, 20 years time that these diets are going to be the, the main way to treat MS. I think it, it'll take a while to come out because the pharmaceutical companies don't want diets as cures for diseases because they can't make money off that. So they're going to keep pushing the drugs all the time. And whereas really, if we all just change that diet, I think there'd be no need for all these expensive drugs that cause massive negative effects to immune systems of people. Um, that's not to say that the drugs shouldn't be taken because at the minute it's the only thing that we've got that we can 100% say halts the disease progress. So yeah, I'd definitely say that, but I do think that diet is going to play a massive part in this over the next 10 years or so. So thanks for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what diets you're doing. Um, if this diet sounds the right thing for you, like I say, I'll leave a link in the bio below. Um, but yeah, just wishing you all the best. And I think this is, it could be massively beneficial to us MS sufferers. So I definitely want to spread the word and I'll be sharing my story from here onwards to see if the diet really does have these massive positive effects that I'm hoping it'll have. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not